Hi everybody, it's Deanne from Deanne Shield Made in Tarot. I had to sneak down my head there to see if this was taping or not. I had a request on uh, from one of the subscribers. They wanted me to read on Jeffrey Clark. He was the uh, former DOJ official for Trump. He almost made Attorney General. Um, the question I asked, and I just did a small spread on this, is will he be held in criminal contempt, I want to know. Uh, will he cooperate? And will he plead the fifth and how he's feeling right now? So I just wanted to get a little bit of information on him, how he's feeling. So right now, we got in the center of the reading, we got the card for justice for him, for Jeffrey Clark. He's getting, he's going to get his karmic justice. There is going to be some consequences um he's having a legal dispute and and uh they want truth and honesty from him there is a cause and effect for what he did you know he was there with him the january 6th commission is investigating him so this is a life lesson for him that he is going through he also got crossing that he got the moon so crossing that is yeah he's He's afraid. He's got a lot of secrets and deception, and he has a lot of anxiety. Um, very insecure, and he has a lot of hidden intentions. At the base of the reading, he got the Ten of Wands. So that's telling me he's overburdened, see? He's overloaded. He's He's got a lot on his plate right now. Uh, responsibilities, obligations struggle stress i think the stress and the worries is the legal him having to go and testify now a couple months ago i seen that he uh i don't know much about this right now but a couple months ago i seen that they asked him to and they said that he had to testify so i don't know if he has yet we'll try and use the pendulum and see because this is something i had to kind of look up a little bit in the past he's coming a little bit out of this ten of swords he has felt betrayed uh, probably by Trump. He's felt defeated. He's felt backstabbed. Uh, yeah, he feels like a failure. He feels pain. He feels like he is at rock bottom. Um, he's he's worried about complete ruin. He's exhausted. Uh, and he's playing the victim, you know? He's playing the victim. It wasn't my fault. It was Trump's. I had nothing to do with it. They're all They all had nothing to do with it. In the future, the near future, he got the Four of Pentacles, which tells me he's holding on to people and things and issues. He's very possessive. He's trying to hang on to his money. He's trying to hang on to his positions. Uh, and, and he's very controlling, very possessive. Says he's very stingy with his time and energy. Very greedy person. Uh very emotionally void. He doesn't really have a lot of emotions or they're blocked or unavailable. He's very closed off and he's very, very materialistic. Um, so this is in the future. He's, he's going to try to be just hanging on to what he's got in the near future. In the distant future, I got the Eight of Wands in reverse, which says here in the distant future, yeah, he's, he's still waiting there's going to be delays on this stuff uh just bad timing with stuff that's coming out uh everything's moving kind of slow um they kind of missed an opportunity somewhere or he did um, but yeah it talks about having a late start on this and there's some restrictions and broken communications it said um let me see i want to do my pendulum on on this i can do it right over the cards Okay, Jeffrey Clark, um, has he cooperated yet? Okay, he has not cooperated as of yet. Um, is he going to be co cooperating? Will he be cooperating, telling what he knows against Trump? Okay, he will be cooperating because doesn't it seem weird that somebody in the DOJ would want to plead the fifth or not cooperate. Look, that's stringy. Look how hard that's going, and I'm not doing that. It's saying very strongly he is going to cooperate. I think he's going to have to. Okay. Uh, will he be held in criminal contempt? Will he be held in criminal? Will Jeffrey Clark be held in criminal contempt? 
Okay, it's saying maybe or unknown, so it just depends. Maybe it depends on if he shows up, what information he gives them. Um, I want to know, will he plead... Will he plead the fifth? Will Jeffrey, let's see, was it Jeffrey Clark? Will he plead the fifth? Okay, I don't see him pleading the fifth. He's going to tell. He's going to tell what he knows. So that's what I'm getting on him. You know, I want to do one, if you guys have time. I think I'm going to do one on Sydney Powell, too. Let's see what we get on her. I got to put these in here. You know, she's the one, that lady who kind of, I don't know, she reminds me of a guy. But she's she's the one being sued by Dominion who said, I'm going to let off the Kraken. You know, he she was uh, really instrumental in, in helping Giuliani start this lie, this big lie that has caused our country so much trouble. And if you guys remember, you know, Trump, he said that, even before the election, that they said, will you accept the results of this election if uh, if you don't win? And he said no, you know. So he had intended to uh, say it was stolen from the very beginning if he didn't win. And even on uh, things where there's a Republican and a Democrat on a ticket, the, the, the Republicans that won, he don't question that, just the Democrats that won. So let me see, get my brain going here. Sydney Powell, how is she feeling? What's going on with Sydney Powell? What can you tell me about Sydney Powell? I'm not in my pajamas today. I'm dressed, but I'm not letting you see my face yet. I got my hair on little roller thingies here. I'm going on with Ron tonight on Unconditional Love at 730 Central. If any of you guys want to come on there, I'd love to have you on there and I can answer questions on there if you want. What is going on with Sydney Powell? Holy Spirit, angels, guides, what is going on with Sydney Powell? How is she feeling? What's going to happen with her? Okay, let's see what we get. Doing a little bit different of a spread. Okay, let's see what we got. At the center of the reading, I got the Page of Swords in reverse. So she is a very sarcastic, gossipy person, very blunt, says she's very scatterbrained. Um, she's very deceived, she deceives people, and she's very malicious, insulting, rude, manipulative, and all talk. Well, that sounds like her. That card couldn't be more apropos. Okay, what's crossing her is temperance. She doesn't have the ability to balance or make peace, so she doesn't have patience. You know, she's she she has no tranquility. She's just she's just uh like I said, a gossip, scatterbrained, uh, sarcastic, deceiving, malicious, insulting, rude, manipulative, all talk kind of person. At the uh, bottom of the reading right now, she got the uh, five of wands in reverse. So they had been having a lot of fighting and conflict and battles and, and things like that. But right now, she's, she's wanting there to be an end to the conflict. She is hoping for a compromise. I mean, she's been going on shows, I think, saying, well, you know, oh, I, I, I really thought it was stolen. I really, you know, she's, she's trying to cover her butt on different talk shows now. Um, she's hoping that they will cooperate with her. She's hoping that they will make a truce because this is the fighting they were doing. She's hoping to reverse that. She's hoping there'll be a truce. Um, she's a very petty person. And she's very defensive right now and very territorial. Um, in the recent past, she's got the Ten of Wands. Okay, so what's, this is what she's coming out of. She has been really overburdened and she has been struggling with stress and just worries. She's just really having a lot of burdens and worries. Probably about, of course, this court thing. She's being sued by Dominion. Um, in the near future, we are going to see justice where she is concerned. 
there is going to be some karmic justice for her. This I consider like kind of like a Biden card. So, yeah, there is going to be under the Biden administration, she is going to see some karmic justice. I don't I, I'm pretty sure if she hasn't already, she's going to lose her law license. Um, she's going to uh, face charges. There are going to be consequences with the law. Um, she's going to be held to have to tell the truth and be honest. Um, there's a, there's a cause and effect for what she's done, you know? Um, yeah, again, she's another one. Life lessons. This is going to be a life lessons for her. She also got in the future, the distant future, the fool in reverse. So yeah, she's, she's a reckless person. She's going to be making reckless, bad choices. She has trust issues. She's very inconsiderate and careless. Um, she's trying, she's indecisive about things. Let me see. I want to clarify the fool. Give me some more information on the fool. Can I have for Sydney Powell? Give me some more information on the fool. What is she so indecisive about? Hmm, I don't know about that one. Well, it usually means the starting of something new. She's, she's, it's the, uh, the Empress, which is usually a pretty good card. But I think in this case with the Fool in Reverse, she's undecided about what she's going to do, how she's going to restart. Because it can, it can, it can stand for something new, you know, having something new born of you. Um... And it talks, it's a, fam it's a, it's a woman, you know, um, I, I just see her not being able to be very decisive about what she wants to do in the future. Let's do the uh, pendulum and ask a few questions on her. Okay. Is Sydney Powell, is she nervous right now with all this going on? Okay. Yeah, she's nervous. Well, who wouldn't be? Will she win the lawsuit with Dominion? Will Sidney Powell win the lawsuit with Dominion? No, she's not going to win that lawsuit. Will Sidney Powell be asked to answer questions in the January 6th commission? Will Sidney Powell, yeah, and she's going to have to answer questions on that too. Did Sidney Powell know? that they were planning this on January 6th. Did Sidney Powell know that Trump was gonna do this? She knew, she knew about this. She was one of the people who knew. Okay, um, does Sidney Powell, will she go to jail? Will she go to jail? Will Sidney Powell go to jail? Will she serve jail time? Yes, she may. It's saying yes. Dominion's going to win the lawsuit. They're going to, the J January 6th commission is going to talk to her. She's already knows stuff about this, the planning of this. They're going to find out some things and she looks like very possibly may go to jail. Um, okay, well, I better stop at that one. I want to keep going and going and going because I'm so interested. I want to know what's going to happen. I think I'm going to do another, just do a little short videos for you guys so I don't take up too much of your time because, you know, if you leave it up to me, I'll just keep wanting to read more and more and more and more because I want to know everything. So, but at least that's good news. We know that, that those two are going to uh, get justice. It may take a while, you know. Let's see. Uh, let's just find out. I didn't ask. I don't remember if I asked. Will Jeffrey Clark go to jail? I may have asked it already, but will Jeffrey Clark go to jail? Still saying un it's saying unknown right now. Okay. So let's see. Is sit is the my pillow guy? Is he also is he also knew about the January sixth? Okay, yeah, I wanted to ask about him too. I lose my train of thought sometimes. I swear it's getting old and 
medicines that I take. I just sometimes are middle age. I don't know, but sometimes I lose my train of thought. But we did get the red. I, I did want to read on Jeffrey Clark because the subscriber that was so sweet to watch my channels. Thank you so much. Subscribed. And I hope that gives you some information. And if you want more, let me know. I'll, I'll try to do a bigger spread. And Sydney Powell, it does not look good for her. So she could be going to jail. Oh, I remember what I wanted to do. I wanted to see when. Will Sidney Powell go to jail in 2022? No. Everything takes so long with the law. Will she go to jail in 2023? So it looks like in 2023. Will it be January? February? No. March? April? May? June. It's looking like June of 2023. Let me ask again. Will Sydney Powell go to jail in June of 2023? So if she goes to jail, it looks like it's going to be in time. You know, it can be off, but I just like to get an idea. And then when it comes around to that, we can check again because energy can change. People have free will. They can change their mind or do something different. But this is the energy as it is right now. It looks like if she keeps on the way she is, she will go to jail in June of 2023 or right around that amount. Jeffrey Clark, is he, oh, you won't tell us about him if he's going to jail. It may just depend on what information he gives them. I'll check later on him, though, and we'll see if, if maybe the energy changed and we can get some information later. And you guys, um, like I said, I'm going to be on Ron's Unconditional Love, 730 Central. I hope to see some of you guys there and ask me any of your questions on there. And I'll be happy to read for you. Thank you so much. Thank you for supporting me. And for those who are not supporters or subscribers, if you could go back and hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button, that really helps my channel. And if you want to be notified when I do a new video, you can just hit the little bell and it will send you a notification. And then if you want to watch it, you can. If you don't, just skip over it. Thank you so much. You guys have a good day. Bye-bye.